In this demonstration, we use extremely cold liquid nitrogen to shrink balloons. Not because we especially need shrunken balloons, but to illustrate the general principle that when air is cooled, it contracts, and also when air is warmed, it expands. That's why hot air rises and cold air sinks. The liquid nitrogen that we are using here is at 77 degrees above absolute zero. That's the temperature at which it boils or the temperature at which it would condense if you cooled it down. And notice that as we pour the liquid nitrogen on the balloons, they do collapse and shrink. And in fact, some of the gas in the balloons, the oxygen and some of the nitrogen, will even turn to liquid, will condense as it cools, just as water vapor condenses to form dew and freezes to form frost in cold weather. Notice that these balloons are really small and really collapsed. Now I'm holding this balloon up and shaking it a little bit so you can see the liquid sloshing back and forth in the bottom of the balloon. As the balloon warms up and expands, it still takes a while for all of the liquid to evaporate and return to its gaseous state. Fortunately, the balloon's rubber is flexible enough, even when it's cold, that it can expand. Although, when we do this demonstration, we always have to be ready for some of the balloons to pop, just because they can't become flexible fast enough as they warm up. And notice that as we put the balloon back in touch with the liquid nitrogen, it once again shrinks. It's amazing how many balloons we can pack into this one small styrofoam cooler. This balloon, I'm going to show you the liquid air by cutting it with my pocket knife, and you can see the liquid air dripping out. Now Charlene is filling a balloon with argon gas. Argon's boiling point, which is also the temperature at which it condenses when you cool it down, is about 10 degrees higher than that of liquid nitrogen. So when we cool the argon balloon down with liquid nitrogen, we expect that absolutely all of the argon will condense and turn to liquid, and the balloon will get really flattened and look really thin and shriveled up, because all of the argon will turn to liquid. And you can see it does look thin and shriveled up. It's starting to warm up now, but when we cut it with a knife, you will be able to see the liquid argon dripping out of the balloon. The mist, of course, is water vapor in the air that's condensing because of the intense cold of the balloon that we cooled in liquid nitrogen. Now Charlene and I are filling this balloon with helium gas. That's the gas that they use for all the lighter-than-air balloons. Helium's boiling point is only 4.2 degrees above absolute zero. So we don't expect that the helium in this balloon will condense into liquid when we put it in the liquid nitrogen. And in fact, that's what we'll find out happens. As we pour the liquid nitrogen over the helium balloon, it will shrink because gases contract, become smaller when they cool but it will never become absolutely pancakey flat the way the argon balloon did because the helium isn't turning into liquid. It is shrinking, though, and when we pull the helium balloon out of the cooler, you'll see how small it is. And as it warms up, it will begin to become buoyant and will float away, and I'll have to grab quickly. <laughs> When we pour the liquid nitrogen on the balloons, we're seeing what happens when gases become so cold that they actually become liquids. When we pour the liquid nitrogen over the balloon filled with air, it should, in time, become completely flat as everything liquefies. 
when we pour the liquid nitrogen over the argon balloon, all the argon becomes liquefied and that balloon goes really flat. But when we pour the liquid nitrogen over the helium balloon, it doesn't go flat because the helium boiling temperature is a lot colder than the nitrogen boiling temperature, so the balloon merely shrinks a bit and becomes dense enough that it's no longer lighter than air. And then as a helium balloon warms and re-expands, it does become lighter than air and will float away like a, any normal helium balloon that you would buy. So when we take a balloon filled with air, which is mostly nitrogen, and we pour liquid nitrogen over it, it's cooling down to very close to 77 degrees Kelvin, which means that the nitrogen, which makes up most of the air inside that balloon, will be cooling. And the first thing that happens to it is it contracts, just like cold air shrinks and contracts. That's why cold air sinks. And then it will keep on cooling. And as it cools, a lot of it, maybe even all of it, if we let it sit there long enough, will condense into liquid, liquid nitrogen. There are some other things going on, by the way, with the balloon that we fill with air because that has some oxygen in it. And the oxygen, again, has a warmer boiling point than nitrogen. So it all condenses. And there's probably some water vapor. And the water vapor, of course, will freeze because water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius, the same as 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the same as 273 degrees Kelvin. That's degrees above absolute zero. Then with the balloon that we filled with argon, because argon has a warmer boiling point by about 10 degrees than nitrogen, the argon balloon cools and it shrinks and then it condenses completely by the time it cools down to the temperature of the liquid nitrogen. So that argon balloon gets really flat. But when we take the balloon of helium, filled with helium gas, and we pour liquid nitrogen over it, it will never condense into liquid helium because the boiling point of liquid helium is 4.2 degrees Kelvin. That's a lot colder than the boiling point of nitrogen. So it will shrink because, of course, when you cool a gas down, like air is the gas that we're most familiar with, when you cool it down, it shrinks. And so, in fact, the liquid helium balloon shrinks so much that it becomes so dense that it won't float up in the air the way we're used to happening with helium balloons. It won't float up, that is, until we let it warm back up, and then it floats up just like a normal helium balloon.